everyone. This is Elaine Shea. I'm the program director for Verge, and I'm here with Steve Starbuck, head of the sustainability practice for EY. Welcome, Steve. Thanks. Glad to be here. Great to have you. So in our 2014 State of Green Business Report, Joel McCower has a finding related to third-party assurance, which is pretty much EY's bread and butter, um, that shows that it's there's steady growth or no growth. Actually, it's evening off a little. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your assurance work and other, with your, whether you're seeing those same findings? We're actually seeing the request for assurance over sustainability information increasing in our business. Mm -hmm. I think that's partly because it is increasing in the market, maybe at a, a slower pace than you might expect, but it, there's a rapid pace of increase for us because I think we're seeing companies that have used non-accounting firms in the past elect to go with accounting firms to get the more rigorous auditing of the information. So our business is actually increasing uh, rather rapidly in uh, the independent assurance. So how do you think it's being differentiated? Like why, why do you think your assurance is different than others and why it's still increasing? Well, a couple of reasons. One is uh, a lot of the big brand companies that are our financial statement audit clients today are looking for independent assurance over their non-financial information. And they would like to have their public accounting firm who does the financial statement assurance do the assurance of the sustainability information. Uh, it, it's a rigorous process, much more rigorous process, and having us doing the auditing is similar to the rigor that goes into the financial statement audit. So having a public accounting firm do the work gives it more credibility, I think. So, so you have to use a different team, though, because you have your financial auditing versus your sustainability auditing, and you want to make sure that it's third party, right? So, Or you want to make it sure it's... Um, not the same, independent, right? Well, actually, the it, we need to be independent as a firm, and so the same people doing the financial statement audits could do the uh, assurance over the non-financial information or the sustainability reports. And actually, it's to the benefit of the client if we combine the expertise of the financial statement auditing with the expertise of the mm -hmm. non-financial auditors, the sustainability auditors, which is in the group that I have. So we team very closely uh, to give the client the best possible service. So you were also talking about something related to pre-assurance. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, you mentioned at the beginning that the pace of assurance is slowing down. Yeah. But one of the things we're seeing is a real uptick in clients asking us to help them get ready for assurance. Mm -hmm. I think they see that uh, the market is moving in a way that they're going to need assurance someday, and when that day comes, they want to make sure that their information is assurable. So we're doing a lot of projects with them to uh, do a readiness assessment to see how close they are to being ready for assurance, give them a, a report on where their gaps are so that they can close the gaps and be ready for assurance. That sounds like a great plan, and that's actually really great. That's all the time we have for today. Um, thanks so much for coming, You're Steve. Welcome.